A trip to Argentina offers you a variety of cultural and outdoor experiences, from tango dancing and fantastic wine in Buenos Aires to breathtaking natural scenery in Patagonia. If you're considering visiting Argentina soon, winter might be the best time. Don't know where to go during winter? From north to south, we've picked our top recommendations for places to visit in Argentina. But before we get started, make sure you subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our new videos. Let's get started. Number 8. Perido Moreno Glacier If Argentina has some of the best waterfalls, mountains, and deserts in the world, why not a massive glacier that calves and thunderous breaks? This beautiful and thrilling glacier is located in Patagonia's Los Glaciares National Park. This is one of Argentina's most popular tourist spots in the winter. The incredible snow covers that surround the glaciers will take your breath away. The entire place is charming and heavenly. This place's view will be something you remember for a long time. It is the third largest freshwater reserve in the world and a gigantic 30 kilometer long ice formation that is only 78 kilometers from the town. The prominent tourist center for the glacier, which bears the name of a 19th century explorer, is just two hours drive from El Calafé and is only a short stroll from there to the glacier itself. There are ice trekking tours for people who want to climb the glacier, with distances ranging from an hour's walk to longer five-hour excursions. Number 7. Porto Madryn Porto Madryn, a seaside community in Patagonia, is particularly well-known for its whale-watching experiences, mainly during Argentina's winter. When you vacation in Porto Madryn, you may engage in various cultural and leisure activities and have the chance to see the southern right whale. Even though there is no snow here because of its location by the Atlantic, it can still get a little cold, so be sure to bring clothing. While Porto Madryn offers year-round opportunities for snorkeling and diving with sea lions, the wolves are still pups in the winter and like playing with swimmers. The boat cruises for 20 minutes to the Punta Loma Reserve, where it anchors at a safe distance, always at high tide. This is one of the most authentic, unforgettable experiences and true touch with the marine environment. More than 180 bird species have been identified on the headland, making it a great place for bird watchers. Bring binoculars and watch for migratory species like the snowy sheathbill, Patagonian canistero, rusty-backed mongita, and many more. Number 6. Ushuaia Ushuaia, commonly known as Ciudad del Fin del Mundo, is the world's southernmost city, located in the sub-Antarctic Tierra del Fuego province, the world's closest region to Antarctica. It is today a well-known vacation destination despite its remote location and judging by its contemporary casinos and upscale hotels, you never imagine the city's once tragic past. However, if you look a little closer, you'll find that the town was also a naval base for Argentina and a prison for exiles. The city's primary tourist attractions are now divided between the east and west. The west is home to the end of the world train in Tierra del Fuego National Park, while the east is home to Fagmeno Lake and several picturesque hiking paths. Famous tourist attractions include the San Juan de Salamento Lighthouse, popularly known as the End of the World Lighthouse, built in 1884 on the Isla de los Estados and the End of the World Museum. A journey to the Beagle Channel lets you see sea lions and penguins. Away from the city center, there is also a lot to explore. The opportunity to tour the Maritime and Old Jail Museum with its spooky prison cells and a trek to the delightfully snow-capped Marshall Glacier for a bird's-eye perspective over the city are two highlights. Number 5. Barilaje Barilaje offers it all. Lakes, beaches, snowy mountains, gourmet cuisine, exciting nightlife, ski stations, cultural itineraries, and festivals. What else could you ask for? It's Argentina's most popular winter destination for a reason. Barilaje is situated next to Chile in the Rio Negro province, at the base of the Cordillera de los Andes. The main winter attraction in Cerro Catedral is skiing, along with the cozy ski lodgings. With its abundance of lakes, Nahulhuapi National Park, and Cerro Trondor Lake, Barilaki is the ideal destination for adventurers and sports enthusiasts. While there are many opportunities for hiking, rafting, cycling, and climbing in the area, you can also explore the alpine lakes of Nahulhuapi, Espejo Escondido, Faulkner, Villarino, Corantoso, and Mecanico by taking the driving route known as the Route of the Seven Lakes. Barilaki features a unique and creative cuisine culture, craft beer, and chocolate tasting for a night out in the lovely city. Nearly 50 years ago, when some locals recognized they had access to an almost endless range of meals that didn't reflect the region's gastronomy, the trends of artisanal food and desserts were first introduced. Today, it is a true Coco Connoisseur's heaven, with everything from regular chocolate bars to fruit-stuffed chocolates. Number 4. Mendoza There's something about a freezing winter day that makes a delicate wine taste even better. Mendoza is the ideal cold winter getaway with average temperatures of 0 degrees Celsius to 10 degrees Celsius from July to September. The Andes Mountains surround its scenery, Aconcagua Park, 
which bears the same name as the highest peak outside of Asia, the Aconcagua Mount is located there. During the winter, the mountains become white and covered with snow, which contrasts with the more arid vegetation of the region's vineyards, which make up most of the land. In Mendoza, you can visit one of the well-known thermal springs to unwind and warm up or take part in the many options to tour the region's many bodegas and taste the local Argentinian Malbec, which will undoubtedly warm the chilly days and nights. Even if the ski resorts are a little further from the city, there are great services that leave from the city center and offer a variety of possibilities, including activities to engage in on the route to the mountain, equipment rentals, ski lessons, at Severa Mendoza also boasts other charms, including its elegant pedestrian-only streets, well-kept parks, vibrant cultural scene, and access to some of the nation's greatest wines. Number 3. Buenos Aires is no surprise that Buenos Aires gave birth to the alluring tango dance, given the city's pulsating energy and seductive allure, which can be found everywhere, from the vibrant European architecture to the lively neighborhoods, amazing shopping, and hot nightlife. The capital of Argentina and one of the biggest cities in Latin America is Buenos Aires, situated off the southeast coast of South America. There are many attractions to tempt travelers within the expansive cityscape, including theater performances, glamorous bars, sophisticated art galleries, and active nightlife. The design is in the French and Italian architectural styles. Don't expect to get much sleep when visiting Buenos Aires because everything here happens late, including supper and late night clubbing. Plaza de Mayo, Teatro Colón, Casa Rosada, and other heritage buildings are among the main attractions. Number 2. Salta and Jujuy Winter is an excellent time to visit Salta and Jujuy if you prefer authenticity. You'll have the beautiful villages to yourselves in the winter. Although the winters are moderate in Salta and Jujuy, smaller towns can experience below freezing temperatures at night, especially in Jujuy. A significant portion of the nation's history is preserved at Salta, which lies in the northwest region and is crossed by the Tropic of Capricorn, connecting it to deep Latin America. The legendary and historic La Cobrada de Humahuaca welcomes you to discover its path of Inca settlements amidst multicolored hills. And the Calchaqui Valleys with their upscale vineyards require a mandatory trip to Cafayette for the pure pleasure of the sun and exquisite wines. Number 1. Iguazu Falls The Iguazu Falls are one of the great wonders of the world. If you like cold weather, this can be the finest place to go in winter in Argentina. These falls, which are a joy to see, are hidden deep within a subtropical forest. The Iguazu National Park covers some of the most beautiful waterfalls on Earth, and they are accessible from both the Argentine and Brazilian sides of the border. There are approximately 275 falls, ranging from tiny trickles to full-fledged powerhouses like Devil's Throat. You can walk the trails, take a boat tour to get a close-up look, or, if you have extra money, take a helicopter ride over the area. Iwazu Falls, one of the most breathtaking waterfalls on Earth, is a spectacle no one should miss in any weather. The waterfall is situated within Parque Nacional Iguazu, a national park close to Puerto Iguazu that is home to some amazing flora and fauna, including some of the few remaining Atlantic rainforests on Earth. Iguazu Falls are unquestionably the major attraction, but an incredible variety of animals also draws many visitors to the area. In Iguazu National Park, you may go on a jungle safari and witness howler monkeys, gigantic anteaters, jaguars, ocelots, caimans, and more than 2,000 different kinds of plants. Argentina has many must-see spots for any travel enthusiast, so it may very well be your next destination. With this list of the best places to visit in Argentina, you can plan your vacation to this delightfully diversified tourist destination. With this, we have come to an end. Subscribe for more content just like this one and share it with your friends. Also, don't forget to smash that like button and press the bell icon to get notified.